asteroid fears, NASA receives a warning over a drastic plan to cannonball an Earth-bound asteroid. Callum Hoare of Express UK reports. NASA says it received warnings over possible implications of attempting to divert an Earth-bound asteroid should it sneak past the Space Agency's defense. As we know, asteroids are small rocky bodies in our solar system, in the inner solar system orbiting our sun. There are millions of them flying around space and their collisions, known as impact events, have played a significant role in shaping many planets. NASA has, is consistently watching the skies, categorizing near-Earth objects, NEOs, as potentially hazardous objects, PHOs, if they could pose a threat to life on our Earth. And they've estimated that we have so many of these things coming at us, even small particles, that they estimate that they leave an extra 40,000 pounds of soil on our Earth every single year. They pass through our atmosphere and become dust. Now, cosmochemist Dr. Natalie Starkey has sent a dire warning to the public in her book, 2018, titled Catching Stardust. She explains how the space agency cannot track every single piece of rock in the sky, while those that have the ability to slip through NASA's defense will not end life on Earth, they do have the potential to wipe out cities and affect millions of people. Dr. Starkey says, in an event that we had at most a few years' notice of an impending impact, we would need to focus on the less precise and more drastic measures of diversion or destruction, she says. She says, if we want to blow something up, we would need to think about the sharp snow that would be produced by the explosion, how big it would be, and where it would end up. She means the pieces that would come flying off. She says, starting with a simple end of the drastic scale, we could consider projecting a large kinetic impactor like a cannonball towards the object to either dramatically alter its course or completely smash it to pieces. To be blunt about it, we want to ram the thing out of the way and if that results in breaking it apart, then so be it. But Dr. Starkey sent a warning message to NASA, revealing their plan could have an adverse effect. She said NASA suggests that a simple kinetic impactor is the most mature approach to deflecting an NEO, as long as it consists of small, a small single body. But if we were to intentionally or accidentally smash the object during this process, then the outcome for Earth could be harder to predict. Depending on the composition of the space object, it might fragment into tiny dust-sized particles that could rain down to Earth, or it might break into just a few large pieces, which if heading toward, toward Earth impact could make matters worse. In addition, a rubble pile type space body of which asteroid Itakoa visited by how a BUSA mission is thought to be, would more easily absorb the energy of a kinetic impact, even a large one. In other words, the kinetic impact wouldn't do anything to it. On the other hand, a small-sized object composed of more consolidated rock would be less likely to absorb the energy of the impact, and so its orbit would be expected to shift more easily. During the same book, Dr. Starkey claimed we will one day see a life-destroying asteroid event similar to the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. And she said there is a threat that we as humans could become extinct if an asteroid was to collide with Earth. The prospect, she says, of our planet experiencing a devastating life-destroying impact by a comet or an asteroid may sound highly unlikely, but it is something that is almost certainly going to happen at some point in the future. The question is when? Asteroid Bennu, asteroid 1015955 one Bennu, formerly known as 1999RQ36, a potentially hazardous object listed on the Sentry Risk Table with the second highest cumulative rating on the Palermo Technical Impact Hazard Scale, investigators have already warned space agencies that it could be devastating if they don't act now to do something to stop such a body. 
According to a study by scientist Maria Evgenia Sansatorio, the 1999 asteroid Bennu may impact our Earth. Dr. Sansatorio warned in a report for the solar system journal Icarus that there is a good chance of the asteroid striking. She said, she told Universe Today in 2010, the total impact probability of asteroid 1999 RQ36, that is Bennu, can be estimated as 0 0.00092, that's approximately 1 in a thousand chance, but that is most surprising. What's most surprising is that over half of this chance corresponds to the year 2182. However, like all asteroids that pose a threat to life on Earth, NASA has a plan to tackle it. The space agency is currently running the mission with OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to find out more about the rock. The spacecraft spent two years chasing Bennu down before orbiting it for another two years and taking samples. Then in 2023, it will blast back to Earth to allow scientists from around the world to study this sample. The mission team is particularly interested in learning the role that asteroids like Bennu, dark, prim primitive, and apparently carbon-rich, may have played in creating life on Earth. It will also help scientists to refine the odds of a strike on Earth. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.